This time we are going to talk about the minimum values of the resistance and maximum values of the resistance. Why we have to talk about that? Because we have tolerance. Tolerance means the value of the resistor is not going to be perfect or ideal, it's going to be plus minus certain tolerance. In this case I have 1%. I'm going to use the following formulas to find minimum and maximum values. The very first thing which I have to find, I have to find the nominal value of this resistor. Remember, gray color represents number 8. Red represents number 2. Orange represents number 3. Yellow at the fourth position represents four zeros. Brown represents plus minus 1%. Next, I'm supposed to convert decimal notation to engineering notation. I'm going to move my decimal point three times and I'm going to have kill over here. The number on the left side of decimal point is greater than 999. That's why I have to keep moving my decimal point to this position, another three decimal places. And I'm going to have 8.23 mega ohms plus minus 1%. Why I have mega ohms? Because I moved my decimal point six times. Remember, anytime you will move three times, you will have kilo. Anytime you will move decimal point six times, you will have mega. Next, I'm supposed to plug in these two values into my formulas. R minimum is equal nominal value 8.23 mega ohms minus R, which is 8.23 mega ohms times the tolerance. The tolerance is 1%, which is simply 100. Next, we're supposed to enter these values into the calculator. We're going to use scientific calculator. Some of your calculators have key labeled double E. Some of you are going to have calculators which have key EXP. I use the calculator with key labeled EXP. That's why all my explanations, if it comes to the using the calculator, are going to have this label. But this means exactly the same. If you don't have this one, you're supposed to use double E. How am I supposed to enter this into the calculator? I'm supposed to type 8.23 EXP. 6 because mega represents the power of 10, 10 to the 6, minus 8.23 EXP6 times 0 0.01. Your answer is supposed to be 8.14 mega ohms. This is the value of R minimum. R max is equal, again, nominal value 8.23 mega ohms plus 8.23 mega ohms times 0.01. Let's practice the calculator and you will have 8.23, you're supposed to press the key EXP6 because mega represents power of 10, 10 to the 6, plus 8.23 EXP to the 6 times 0.01 is equal 8. 31 
mega ohms. So this is the minimum value of my resistance, I mean possible minimum value of the resistance and this is the possible maximum value of my resistance. But it doesn't mean that my resistance has this value or this one. The resistance can have any value between these two. So this is the solution to my problem.